Okay, in this next part about gradebook, um, I've already explained the toggle full screen as well as the sections, the quarter, sorting by materials, and how to organize your view. Okay, the next um, big options come in this view. Okay, again, show full titles is something that I like to do. You could see what that changes. If I want to unselect it, I'm going to need to do that as well. Okay. So show full titles is what I prefer because I can see the whole name. Notice that I have to sort of hover my mouse, not click it, but hover my mouse um, on the assignment and I can see the due date, whether it's been published, um, the scale and the category, okay? Um, this for showing the grading scale, um, I usually leave um, that unchecked. You can see we don't sync with um, our Infinite Campus here, so it sort of um, does not do much for me personally, okay? Now, you can do this, mark excused. If I choose to highlight these cells, you can see right here, this has a um, box around it now, which is marking any of the assignments that I marked as excused. So I can check and see if that's really what I meant to do. If I want to unselect that, then I mean to click that again and those boxes go away. I can choose marked incomplete. Notice I don't have any that are marked incomplete. So if I choose this option, it's not going to put a box around anything for me to locate. So I'm gonna not do that one. This though, marked missing, you can see I have a whole lot of those. If I do that, you can see um, as I scroll down, I can see all of the places where work has been marked missing, okay? So that is um, an easy way to identify where the missing work is. I'm going to unselect that. I can see marked missing with submission, okay? This is going to be right here. Here's a student who submitted this assignment, you can see, but it's been marked missing. If I click here, it's gonna take me directly to that student's assignment so I can, in fact, grade it. <clears throat> graded with new submission, that's going to indicate I already graded this assignment for the student, but they have submitted something new. Okay, so that's gonna allow me to view that assignment again uncheck that. I can view needs grading. Um, these are things that um, have some work submitted to them, but I have not graded it yet. Okay, so you can see, again, it puts a box around those um, specific assignments. And then again, not submitted. You can see I have a whole bunch of those. Most of those um, <clears throat> end up also being missing. Okay, but some of them um, will appear like in this assignment right here, there should have been nothing submitted. So for everyone in that column, it's going to show not submitted. So that's less relevant for me, at least for that assignment, but it will allow me to pick out from other assignments work that has not been submitted. If I had any materials with factor zero, meaning they do not impact their grade, I could easily um, sort those, and again, it would show up with a box around those assignments, okay? So that's everything in the view menu, again, allowing you to isolate specific grades um, in terms of incomplete, excused, missing, as well as if they, um, there are things that you need to check. This symbol right here, this orange hexagon not filled in uh, means missing. The green hexagon filled in means excused, and if you did mark anything as incomplete, it shows up as um, an orange hexagon um, as well, but it is partially filled in, okay? So that is the view menu. Uh, the next thing that we will, in the next video, we'll talk about are some other options available in the gradebook.